dedicated by George Friedrich Handel, who was a very uh, accomplished keyboard player, so we were talking like harpsichord days, uh, just slightly newer than the Bach that we heard earlier. Uh, the piece is actually uh, based on just a chord progression, so just like a couple chords. And I'd like to play that for you now, just so you know what I'm talking about. So, this is just the first four measures, you'll hear it again. Much. And what Handel did was he wrote then a set of 18 variations based on just that. So there's more melody, there's more different uh, articulations and different things that go along. Um, about 100 years later, um, a, a Norwegian guy comes along and writes it for a violin and a viola instead of a harpsichord, and then the cellist wanted in on the action. So um, the duet actually took the 18 variations, took it down to 12, and that's sort of what we have here. We have an orchestral arrangement of, it depends on how you want to count the variations, either 8 or 12. So be listening for just that simple thing. You'll hear the, the melody sort of weaving through, you'll hear all the different articulations and the dynamic changes, um, and if you're extra careful, you'll be able to hear the very end of the melody will actually sort of forecast what's to come, so you get a little preview of the next four measures. So a very complicated piece called Hasekawa. 